Hi everyone, it's Fuster. I'm finally here with an update for my video about external storage support in iPadOS on Lightning devices, which I made back in June and has been viewed over 120,000 times. And I'm really thankful for all the comments, likes and new subscribers since then. The main conclusion of that video was that most external storage devices work when connected to extra power, except for HDDs, which don't work on both the oldest devices supporting iPadOS, which is this iPad Air 2, and the newest devices, such as the iPhone 11, as I showed you last week. Now, several of you have suggested a powered USB hub, and I'm not sure if it's just me, but where I live, I can't find powered USB hubs that easily in shops anymore. But luckily, I found this powered USB hub on Amazon from a company called Atolla. I already made a non-sponsored review of their USB-C to VGA Plus audio dongle almost a year ago and it turned out to be very useful, until now I'm still using it. And now they were willing to send me one of their powered USB hubs for me to review, so thank you very much Atala for sending me this review unit. Let us see now if this USB hub will finally solve my HDD problem on lightning devices. Now before we unbox this device, I just wanna say that if you have detailed questions like which file systems are supported, uh, which devices are supported, do you need extra power for USB drives and so on, please watch my videos about external storage support. I made three of them and all of them I think are very helpful if you're planning of using your iPad as a productive device for video editing or for just backing up your pictures or videos when on a trip, for example. Now, to just summarize, SSDs have no problem connecting, but you always need external power. I mean, you have to connect um, this SSD to this dongle, plug it into your iPad or iPhone, and still plug in the charger, and then it will work. Same thing goes with most of my USB drives. Now, the main issue in both of my videos was that HDDs just require too much power. And yeah, I mean, it, even with the 18 watt iPad Pro adapter or fast charger from Apple, it still doesn't power up the HDD on my lightning port. So thing is, we need a powered USB hub. And then we still have in the package, we have here the power adapter. Now this is a European adapter, but you also have, of course, the American version. Uh, just make sure you order at the right Amazon site to get the correct power brick. Just for information, it's a five volt output. This is a 60 centimeter wire, which is really useful as you can just like, put this on your desk and then plug it in to your wall, which is uh, very nice. And we can plug it in over here. So here we have the DC5 power port. This here is the USB-A port, which will go into the iPad. Whoa, okay. Blue lights, just like advertised on the website, they have blue lights and it, normally if you press long, they should, okay, they go off. So in other words, you could control which USBs are activated and which aren't, which is very cool. They also have here this charging port, uh, just plainly to just charge an extra device, while these four will be connected to the iPad. What else do we have in the box? We still have two papers. We have this two year warranty activation code, which is at the back, which I won't show you now. And we have then this quick start guide uh, on more information on how to use this. And anyway, I still have this nice calling card, happy, not happy, so you can get in touch with customer service, or you can share what you're happy about on uh, social media. Okay, I just put this back into the box and here it is. So this is the Atala USB 3.0 hub. I'll plug this into my uh, dongle. Now the good news is as this is powered, you don't necessarily, I think, you don't necessarily need this over here, which is the charging port. If you set the version without this port, then you can luckily just use that one instead. Now I do. I just wonder though, and normally this won't power up my iPad though. So let's have a look. It's now connected, but it's not powering up my iPad. That's logical, I didn't expect it either because this isn't power output. This here's power output, but not this part over here. This is the one for data. Okay, now let's just get straight to the point. Can we finally connect our HDDs? So just for information, this is the Seagate one terabyte HDD, which even more specifically is the Seagate game drive for PS4, but it doesn't really make a difference. Actually, it's uh, it's just nicely blue. Anyway, um, I'll now connect it to my uh, to my iPad through this hub, and so this is the moment of truth. Will we finally be able to use an HDD 
on an iPad with lightning ports or an iPhone later, let's check it out. The good news is that the HD is now powered up, so you can see this blue light over here. I can also feel and hear it working, that's very good. Let's open up the Files app and see what the result is. Yeah, there it is, it's there, which is awesome. <laughs> so that's uh, really cool. It works. So we can finally use an HDD on an iPad with a lightning port. Now just bear in mind, I'm not charging my iPad, but it also works without charging it. So I can still um, yeah, see what's in here, make a folder, uh, just called Untitled for now. So it all works. So that's great. Now, can you use this hub to connect more than just one device? Now, of course, that's kind of the purpose of hub, but you never know with an iPad what the results will be. So let's have a look. Um, the iExpand. Maybe, let's try connecting now the iExpand over here. It's now plugged in. Yeah, there it is. Now I must say though that I had to rename my iExpand to Fjordström X um, because it couldn't recognize this one if it's just called the same. Same with this here, I called now Fjordström C because it has a USB-C port over here. Now I'll use the USB-A port and let's plug it in over here. Let's hope that it appears. Yeah, there it is. So I have now three connected devices over here. Hope you can see it, three devices. So to all my subscribers and especially those who commented on my videos about external storage support, yes, the powered USB hub is the answer for connecting multiple devices and especially HDDs to your lightning device. So like lightning iPad. Now I wonder, of course, it should also work on an iPhone. So let's check out now the iPhone 11. Yep. Here they are as well. So it also works, of course, what could you expect? Of course, it also works on the iPhone. But I just wanted to confirm that it works now on everything. Just plug it in now on all in one time. That's also something uh, to look at. Um, there we go. And the answer is, let's have a look there on the left. Yep, there they are. They're all there now. Okay, so that's very good news. I just have to plug this in now before it dies. So yes, this here is the solution to all of our problems. Uh, if you have a Lightning iPad and you want to use it for productive reasons, for video editing, for example. By the way, LumaFusion has an update now where you can just uh, edit files straight off the drive. So you can just uh, plug in a USB drive, then drag your footage onto the timeline. It all just works. I'll definitely make still a video about it uh, soon. Very soon, actually, I hope. Um, but it's very useful now. And those of you who have a Lightning iPad, which could be a very powerful iPad Air 3 or iPad Air 2019 officially, then you can now just plug in anything you like. An HDD, plug in multiple devices. So I really hope that now we finally have the whole view, the total view now of what's possible with external storage support in iPadOS. Definitely check out all my other videos about iPadOS here on the top right. Also my videos about the iPhone 11 you can check out on my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe and please leave a comment down below. And finally, I just want to say thank you again to Atola for sponsoring this video by sending me this review unit. It really helps me but especially also all of you out there who have been watching my videos the past month. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.